Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today um, I'm gonna take the retopologized dinosaur that I made in the previous video and I'm gonna export it and I'm gonna create some UV using uh, headers UV layout. Um, if you're not familiar with headers UV layout you can also check uh, one of my previous video uh, where I uh, talked about uh, this software and I used it to do the UVs of my uh, Mr. Incredible character. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select my dinosaur here and I'm gonna export it. And I'm gonna export as one object and I'm gonna call this object uh, uvs.obj so I don't get confused so let's get into uh, UV layout all right so this is the interface very compact and small interface of UV layout and uh, just click on load and from my uh, folder I'm gonna click on UV obj and in the options here, I'm going to make sure that uh, instead of edit, I'm going to click on new because I want uh, new UVs. And I'm also going to check uh, weld UVs and clean just to be sure that everything is uh, nice and clean. So I'm going to click load. And uh, there it is. Here's my dinosaur. So I can resize a little bit. Alright, so uh, let's get started and one thing uh, to notice here is that um, if I hold space and middle click and drag, I can move my uh, island, my polygon island and again this is not actually moving uh, the object in the scene, uh, it's just, um, it's just uh, this movement and only inside the software so uh, if I save this mesh uh, nothing will be moved from the original but I can go here and uh, move my pieces around so I can get a better um, uh, understanding of what my islands are gonna be so another things that uh, we want to do since this object is perfectly symmetrical we can use symmetry here so uh, in order to do that uh, we are going to go to edit and it says symmetry find so we're going to click on find and then i'm going to select the middle edge and i'm going to click space it says here space continue now as you can see half of my dinosaur became gray that means that the uh, UV layout found uh, compl the complete symmetry of this side. So any operation I'm going to do on one side is going to be mirrored on the other side. So that's great. And um, uh, for uh, these objects, uh, there's another way that uh, we can do. Uh, I will show you that later, um, as well as the claws. Uh, but for now, let's focus on uh, the body here so um, I'm gonna cut up the body um, let's see so by pressing C if I hover my mouse over these uh, edges if I press the letter C uh, as you can see it automatically uh, finds uh, some of these uh, edges and uh, what I'm gonna do uh, it you can see he went up to here so on this edge I'm gonna click again C so it's gonna cut here and on this edge I'm gonna click on W to remove the uh, excess of uh, edges and um, I'm also gonna cut here again with pressing C and I'm gonna cut here and here I'm gonna click W W and press C again here and here to delineate this area so now if I press enter if I move my mouse over 
uh, this area and press enter as you can see I've detached uh, this island so if I hold space and middle click drag uh, you can see this is uh, one island that I've cut off so let's go ahead and I'm gonna hover over this middle line here and I'm gonna click on shift C and what shift C does instead of uh, regular C uh, it basically it will keep going um, until it doesn't know where to go anymore so it will follow the edge loop until uh, it doesn't know what to do so in this point there's a uh, it doesn't know if going this way or this way so in here I'm gonna press uh, C again just to cut there and then again enter as you can see uh, now this uh, island has been split so now and the same thing happened here so uh, so now what I'm gonna do to drop this into UV space I'm gonna hover over this I'm gonna click D so D and D so as you can see the other side also has disappeared and now if I press three uh, if I press one sorry on my keyboard it goes into UV mode so you can see the UV is here so one is the UV mode two is the 3d mode and three is the uh, texture mode but we will see that later so let's go back to one and as you can see I have my um, island that they are dropped here but uh, they are not yet uh, been um, uh, unwrapped so in order to uh, unwrap I'm gonna hover over one of the island and I'm gonna press uh, shift F and what it will do it will unwrap my uh, island like so so um, if I move this guy here um, as you can see this is uh, the mirror one and uh, to copy the mirror uh, I only have to hover here and click the letter S this will uh, transfer the mirror uh, unwrap to the other side and then I can do the same here uh, shift F all right and then I can rotate it with if I uh, with um, space and uh, space and left click you can rotate your island and then again S to mirror to the other side now um, uh, I often uh, unfortunately I'm not sure uh, what my computer problem is probably because it's very old um, I'm getting uh, frequent crashes uh, recently so I'm gonna save a lot every time I do uh, one of these islands so I'm just gonna click save and uh, I'm gonna continue so um, let's go back uh, to my view by pressing 2 on the keyboard and let's continue uh, separating this um, uh, mesh so let's see let's cut the legs here again pressing C and like so and it seems oops seems that we missed this edge here and this edge here now press enter and here we go it's separated now let me cut through the bottom of the foot like so press enter and then I'm going to let's see what if I cut here and I can probably let's see if I open this up it might be okay let's see so if I click D to drop this guy and then press 1 um, let's see 
what this is gonna become if I click on Control F. So it's gonna open it up this way, which uh, it might be okay. Let's see. All right, let's move it like this. Press S. Um, I'm gonna keep it like that for now. Control F and I'm gonna move it here and press S to mirror there. Okay. And I'm gonna save. Alright. Um let's see. I'm not super happy about this. So if we want to redo this uh this cut, we can uh there's a couple of ways of doing it. I can cut from here so if I hover here and press C as you can see it does uh, the same type of cut that um, I was doing in the 3d view and then if I press enter it's gonna cut here but um, another thing I can do I can click on shift D and this will bring this uh, island back here in the 3d view as you can see this is the cut that i've done if i if i click shift d once more uh, it's gonna reset the original position of the 3d mesh and the cut now is gone so let's see what we can do here um i want to cut along this edge here like so and actually this one was fine so I'm gonna have two islands here so drop this and drop that and shift F okay that's a little bit better press S and here shift F to get this one here and I can just uh, move it here for now, press S. Um, if I want to do a quick uh, layout, I can just go to Pack and click on Pack All. Uh, it will uh, quickly arrange automatically these UVs. I can go Save and Save. So I get a, a temporary uh, quick uh, uh, layout of my UVs. Obviously, I'm going to uh, try to optimize this once all the parts are uh, in here so press 2 to go back to the previous uh, screen so let's see where I can cut um, let's cut out the tail so maybe I'm gonna cut through here and I'm gonna cut along the center line um, so the tail is very long, so I'm go probably going to cut a couple of times, like so. Um, uh, and the reason is that, let me drop these parts here, and, oops, shift F. Um, the reason is that uh, the more parts I have, uh, the better compact layout uh, I can uh, create um, later. So um, it's always uh, if you if you leave very few pieces, uh, then you're gonna have um, a lot more uh, a l empty space. So like that and pack all. As you can see, it quickly generates a uh, layout so I can save and save like this uh, by the way you can see that uh, these colors represent um, the distortions so uh, the more it becomes towards red it means that the texture is uh, squeezed down and the more it becomes toward blue it means that the texture is scaled up so uh, something to keep in mind and when it's this light green means there are no stretches whatsoever. Uh, you can check that. We're going to check that later 
um, but um, let's go back for now here and let's cut out the neck so for the neck um, let's cut here so we're gonna separate the body and I'm thinking if it's worth to separate this as well probably yes so I'm gonna cut this in half as well and um, let's cut here and here I could keep this line and so it will open like a butterfly but again I prefer to have as many uh, a little bit more parts so um, all right, control F and control F here as well. So then S key, oops, that's S key and S key and pack all. Here I go, you go. As you can see, it's already started to create a little bit uh, more. Uh, this is the percentage of. Uh, how much empty space uh, is left so the more parts we are putting in the smaller this number is going to become so save all right and let's continue let's go back here so obviously we want to cut through the middle line here and uh, I'm also going to cut the neck again here along this edge so let's drop that and for the head um, let's see what I can do let's separate the top and the bottom as well so here and here so I'm gonna have these parts here um this might be a problem so but let's let's uh, let's try like this way i'm gonna drop this and let's see what we can get so control f all right control f okay so this is what i was talking about as you can see uh, this is the top horn uh, of the dinosaur um, uh, I'm having the tool is having problem to uh, unwrap this area uh, without distortion so uh, I'm gonna drop this piece back uh, and I think this is gonna be fine yeah that's fine I'm gonna bring this here so S and then uh, pack all just to uh, put these pieces in and save all right let's go back and let's see what cut um, let's move this here let's see what cut i can do we can probably cut along here and along this line uh, let's see let's go let's go down this way and here let's um, actually you know what let me undo this I'm gonna cut along this way and then I'm gonna cut along this way and I'm gonna connect these two points uh, here and here like so and then I'm probably gonna cut out just that so or let's see I'm gonna go this way I just prefer it all right drop this drop that one shift F and now we have a much better um, uh, unwrap so I can move this here shift F 
and this is actually the other side so all right and back all okay and save like so now um, let's do the tongue so the tongue I'm just gonna cut it like that and separate it in two that's perfectly fine and so this is gonna be like this Control F like that and that's perfectly fine back all the tongue is there so save and uh, let's also do the eyes um, I actually don't need this other half but whatever I'm just gonna drop these guys all together there and shift F shift F shift F and shift F back all and they're all all over the place we can group them uh, later now I just want uh, something uh, quickly and now for these objects um, obviously uh, you don't want to go and do one by one that would be a little bit tedious I mean obviously you can do it but uh, um, since they all have the same exact uh, topology um, what you can do in UV layout you can go here and let's say let's grab this one and let's uh, cut um, let's see let's cut this guy uh, up to here so uh, okay so it's going to be open up to here and I'm going to click enter and I'm going to press D and let's go back into UV mode and here it is so shift F and here is uh, my uh, unwrapped uh, tooth now let's bring it here now if I press the cre the three key um, this is the uh, texture mode or uh, UV uh, check mode and but whatever but you what you can do from here you can go here and you can see that this tooth is the one that we just unwrapped and it's green okay so here under the uh, edit panel you see this copy UVs so what I'm gonna do I'm going to click on uh, copy UV and then I'm gonna select one edge so here and as you can see here it says uh, plus equal find all so I'm gonna press plus on my keyboard and as you can see now UV layout have found all the identical uh, geometry everyone has this same edge uh, selected in blue so now I can click on space equal continue like it says here and if I go back now to here you can see there's a little lock in here so actually what happened is that all these uh, all my tooth all my teeth were um, unwrapped and they're overlapping one on top of the other now to unlock this I'm gonna click on uh, L and as you can see here it says uh, right mouse button unlock box so right mouse button and click and drag it will unlock this uh, shell and if I hold space and move you can see that uh, they're all here right um, now what I can do to quickly uh, align these guys together I'm gonna select them just by uh, um, left click and drag and from here I'm gonna click on new box so what this will do will group 
uh, into the box all these um, stacked um, shells so if I hold control and middle mouse click one of these uh, green triangle I can click and drag uh, this uh, group this box size and this will give the software an indication of the aspect ratio that I want this group to look so for example if I drag it first let's start with dragging about square and I let go um, UV layout will try and pack all my shells into a square area if I do that again and let's see that I do this shape then UV layout will try and pack all these shells in this shape so this is very uh, a really cool way that uh, we can um, uh, decide what kind of uh, pack we want for this uh, these guys here um, another thing you might notice is that these have uh, different colors uh, these are all blue and these are like that and that's because uh, all these shells have exactly the same size but the objects as you can see the, te the teeth here they are not the same size some is big some is small and so it means that these texture are going to be distorted it's going to be scaled so um, what I can do here I can click on optimize here and now if I click on run for it says one minute by default uh, what happens is with UV layout is going through all my shells all my shells and it's going to optimize them um, it's gonna unwrap them um, with the correct size reducing the um, the distortion but I actually want them to do well I mean in this case these are already uh, optimized so it's not going to do anything on these so let's see what happens if I click here as you can see he went through and he resized correctly all my shells so now if I do that again he's repacking them and as you can see they're all green and they are perfectly scaled uh, so this is a great feature uh, and now let's say that I'm gonna click on pack all and what the UV layout is gonna do is gonna pack uh, my UVs um, I changed uh, the quality from fast to best to remove uh, as much space as possible so as you can see uh, this is uh, packed and I can click save all right and so let's continue and I'm gonna do the same for the claws uh, since uh, they they also are the same topology so I'm just gonna do one here um, if I click uh, on home button on my keyboard um, the area where I'm hovering is gonna be the uh, the new uh, center of rotation It's gonna zoom and center my view so let's say that I want to work on this one I hover the mouse over here and I press home and now that's the uh, shell that that's in the center so what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna cut this shell up to here and remove this part with W press enter to open and D to drop so again here is my shell shift F and now I have my open shell now again press 3 and I'm gonna go and find my unwrapped uh, shell here and I'm gonna click on copy UVs select an edge and plus so now as you can see all my claws here have the same edge selected again so space to continue and that's done 
so again as you can see now these are locked so press L to and then uh, you can say here right middle right mouse button on lock box so I'm gonna right and do like this and then with left I'm gonna select them and I'm gonna create again a new box and again uh, control middle mouse and drag to open up my shells and once again I'm gonna run one optimize so it's gonna run through these are my new optimized undistorted shell so now if I drag this again it's gonna repack them this way and that's great so uh, for this one I don't know I might want to create something that it's uh, long this like this and now I can click on pack all and then UV layout is going through and pack all my shells um, and is keeping my my group uh, as you can see so for example let's say that uh, the eyes now they're each one it's here on the corners let's say that I want them grouped together so I can just click each shell to select them like so and then I can just go here and click on new box and now if I click pack all um, what UV layout is gonna go through is gonna pack repack all my objects and you can see now the, the eyes are here packed together so I can even uh, if I hold space and click one of these uh, triangle with middle mouse drag I can move the group around so I can place it wherever I want so again this is a great uh, tool so at this point we have uh, all our shells uh, mapped uh, unwrapped and uh, laid down however um, we only covered 55.8% uh, of the available space so this is a lot of empty space here um, so let's see what we can do to try and optimize a little bit better uh, this uh, UV space here let's save uh, what we have here alright so what can we do to optimize the space so um, let's see first of all we could let's get rid of this guy for now and this guy for now so let me see what we can do here um, first of all if I remove the symmetry so I'm gonna click off as you can see now the symmetry is gone and if I repack all um, already UV layout should do a much better job at packing my shells let's see what comes out yes as you can see I have 62.6 percent now uh, but still um, I think we can do a little bit better than that um, I would like possibly trying to achieve something like 75% maybe let's see if we can uh, get there so another thing we can do we can rotate our shells so um, if we click on rotate and let's try 90 degrees for now and see what we got so um, one minute let's see what what we can get so pack all so now uh, first UV layout is going and uh, packing and now he start to rotating randomly the shell by 90 degrees and trying uh, different combinations to see if he can find a better 
solution for our mesh so let's see what uh, it comes up with so this as you can see the timer we set one minute so I'm not even sure that um, it will find a better solution so let's wait a little bit more it doesn't seem to do much at the moment let's see how it goes five seconds left alright it didn't do anything that's interesting um, let's see if I click on fast okay fast seems to do a better job at rotating uh, it's actually rotating the shell so let's see if uh, can found some better fit so let's uh, every time uh, the layout changes in this mode it means that he found a little bit better solution that uh, uses a little bit more space so that's good let's see what it comes up with less than 10 seconds left 5 seconds left and okay it seems that this is the best he could find uh, we're still 61% but we can try middle quality and click uh, pack all again let's see if middle quality is going to rotate yes it's gonna do a rotation so let's see what comes up with so it's rotating the shells a little bit also another thing that we can do uh, we could uh, so right now we uh, grouped all these uh, teeth together and the scale together but if we don't want these we can just uh, delete the boxes and then UV layout is gonna basically place all these shells in each of these empty spaces so that's also another way uh, that we can do but these are so small I don't think uh, we're gonna gain uh, much so that's finished that's done it's 63.2% still not great um, mm, there isn't really much we can do in terms of parameters so um, let's see if I can come up with a better solution manually uh, just for the sake of it probably not but let's try it out so I'm gonna bring a bunch of pieces uh, in here and um, by holding space I'm just gonna uh, rotate them around and see if I can come up with uh, something that looks uh, better than what did what this software uh, came up with because um, don't forget that uh, UV layout is um, what is doing is randomly rotating these uh, shells is not uh, it's not like smart or anything it's just randomly rotating shells so uh, if he happens to find uh, a good uh, solution then uh, that's uh, probably just by luck so we can always try and see if we can get something better uh, manually so I'm just messing around here with these shells and see if I can found, find a 
better uh, fit okay and let's try this guy as well I'm gonna place this guy here Maybe this guy goes there, and this guy goes let's see let's put him there. something like this and let's see let's put this guy in here this guy here this guy here And maybe, let's see. Let's get this guy here. This guy here. I actually don't know really if uh, what I'm doing here is going to be worth doing in terms of uh, optimization for the UVs but let's see if I came up with something that looks better let's get rid of this guy for now this guy there this guy maybe there and then it's just a matter of placing the rest Let's see. We can put this guy here, this guy here. This can go inside here. And this can go here. Although it doesn't really uh, takes doesn't really take too much space, you can probably place it here as well. And let's see the remaining pieces. It's here. This guy may be here. Doesn't seem that I'm gonna get much better result. All right, so after a little bit of uh, manual tweaking, uh, I've got a 76% of uh, coverage which is pretty good so as you can see I've scaled up things like the eyes and the teeth these have been scaled up just to uh, cover have a little bit more coverage um, of the scene 
and let's save this all right now if I press 3 from uh, this view I can actually check the texture distortions and I can do so well, actually what's going on here let's see it looks like I've got one that was let's see if I can fix it if I press G I can select the polygons here so let's see what these guys oh here it is so this guy here seem to be uh, I think I've scaled it uh, bigger than it should be so let's scale it down to this size so it's proportion with uh, the other claws all right so now in here if I press T as you can see that uh, UV layout uh, applies this checkerboard and if I press T again I can see this um, uh, more detailed uh, number pattern here and with uh, I can click on plus and minus to scale up or scale down uh, the tiling of this texture so I can check uh, as you can see uh, there are no visible distortions anywhere and I'm not really worried about well okay maybe a little bit here that's gonna be fine I'm not gonna be worried about uh, these connections because we are going to project uh, the detail from ZBrush to uh, our mesh so uh, the projection is gonna compensate the distortions and uh, it's gonna be uh, pretty so let's uh, so let's make sure that we save this so let's go back import this back to Maya all right so back in Maya now uh, I'm gonna import my uh, UV OBJ and Maya is gonna warn me that uh, it's gonna import one object that's fine gonna delete this I don't need so this is my new object if I hide the previous one this is my new object and if I check the UV with the terribly buggy Maya UV editor here I can see my new UVs here and I can go into shaded mode here so I can I can see that they're all uh, nice and laid down and I can also activate here UV distortions as you can see very little distortion here so let's check these I don't need to see that so these are my new UVs and so yeah that's it for this video um, I hope that this was uh, useful for you from the next video we're going back to ZBrush and we're gonna do some poly paint uh, and so we're gonna apply colors to our dinosaurs and then we're gonna project uh, all the maps uh, color map and normal map into this um, new UV so stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video Thank you for watching the full video. If you want, you can support me on Patreon, subscribe to my channel, and make sure to watch my latest video and other videos in my playlist. See you the next time.